Hello and uh, welcome back. Day four and lesson four. Once again, thanks for all the comments and uh, for the questions. It's it's really been uh, it's really great to see so many people getting involved. I mean, when I started these tutorials, I was uh, I, I had a bit of doubt. I was wondering who's going to do coding tutorials at a time like this, and I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, there's people from all walks of life that are are doing this. I mean, I got a, a message from. A, a mom yesterday who's young kids, I think they're like six and eight years old, that are actually doing the tutorials. I mean, look at these two, how tiny they are. And uh, it turns out they're enjoying it, which is really awesome. Who knows, maybe they'll turn out to be, uh, you know, the next in the next 10 years or so, the next uh, tech entrepreneurs. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today we're going to look at more text. Yesterday we looked at... Uh, uh, paragraphs. Today we're going to look at other types of text and styles of text that you can add to your page. So let's get down to it. Okay, so back in brackets, let's take a quick look at what we did yesterday. So yesterday we learned about paragraph tags and we saw how to put text inside paragraphs and in our browser we saw how those paragraphs actually uh, display the their text. Now today we're going to look at different types of text. We're going to look at firstly headings. So headings come in six sizes in, in HTML from H1 through H6. So let's do our first heading. So open angle bracket H1 close angle bracket. So that that is your heading open and close tags. Now inside there we're going to put in some headings. This is an H1 heading. All right. Let's save this and go and refresh in the browser. Look at that. So you've got nice big and bold text there saying this is H1. On the other end of the spectrum is H6. So again, open angle bracket, H6, close angle bracket. And inside there, you can do, this is an H6 heading. No need to add the close angle bracket or the close heading tag because it's done for us. So let's save this guide. And back in the browser, we hit the refresh button and look at that. Absolutely tiny, tiny H6 heading. So on one end of the spectrum, you've got H1 and on the other end of the spectrum, we've got H6. Now I'll leave it to you to put in the other sizes, H2, H3, H4 and H5. Go and experiment with them and have fun with those. Okay. So normally, just like in a normal document, headings will go at the top of the uh, a document or the top of a section and then comes your paragraph text. Pretty straightforward there. The other thing I want to show you today is how to make certain text emphasized. Now let's take a paragraph tag. Okay, and we're going to put in some some text inside here. We'll say something like we have limited stocks. Now, normally in a word processor, if you wanted to make a word or a, or a series of words stand out if you wanted to emphasize them by making them bold then you you would select the text and then you would hit bold on the the bold button on the word processor now how do you do that in code because in your web pages there's no option to do that you can't expect your users to emphasize text you got to do it inside your code now we're going to do that using the B tag. So the B tag, a B tag is a bit weird, right? Because 
it sits inside another tag. So look, we've got our paragraph open and close tags. And inside there, we're going to put a B open and close tags. So angle bracket B close angle bracket. See what happened? We've got B open and close tags. Now B stands for bold. Now I want to emphasize this word now. So I'm going to retype it inside there. I can delete it here. I don't need it any longer. Make sure to buy now as we have limited stocks. So the now should be bold. Let's save this. Control S and head back to the browser. Back in the browser. Can you see that? Make sure to buy now. Can you see the now is nice and bold as we have limited stocks. So you can you can make a single word, a single letter or even a whole range of words bold by using the B tag. The other thing is italic. How do you make text italicized? So let's say we wanted to make the words limited stocks italic. Then we use a new tag called I. So again, open angle bracket, the letter I, close angle bracket. So now you need to put the text that's going to be in italic inside between those two tags. So it would be limited stocks. So I'm just going to select limited stocks and I'm going to cut it. So you can press Control X or go to edit and click on cut and then go in between the two tags. Now be very careful about where you are putting the text. It needs to be dead center between the two tags. When the first tag ends and the second tag starts right there in the middle, you need to paste your, your text. So you can you can press Control V or go to edit and click on paste. There we go. So limited stocks is now placed inside of the italic tags. Fantastic. Let's go and check this out in the browser. Control S. Back to the browser. Refreshed. And did you see the change? Make sure to buy now as we have limited stocks. Limited stocks is in italic. Now that we understand how to add text into our documents, the next thing we're going to do is to add images. In the next lesson, we'll see how to add an image into our page. And that's going to be quite exciting. See you then.